Welcome back to App School Reviews. Today we're having a look at a special set of figures. It's a two-pack now. The reason we're doing this is because today a show comes out that's really exciting. And it's uh, Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. And it comes on 8 p.m. Something like that on Stars. And it's a great show. So if you haven't watched it, go ahead and watch, start Season 1 and 2 on Netflix. And then start Season 3 on uh, Stars. But by the title of this video, you know what's going on. Also by the thumbnail, we're going to have a look at the McFarlane 2-pack Ash and Evil Ash figures. So don't go anywhere. We'll have those figures soon laying out right here. Yes, here the figures are. Now before I get close into them, go ahead and hit that like button. And also hit that subscribe button. And go and hit the bell icon for when I go live. If I go live. And when I do weekend uploads. The background here, we have the Ultimate uh, Evil Dead 2 Ash figure, Dead by Dawn. The Evil Dead 2 VHS tape, the Army of Darkness, Director's Cut VHS tape. And then we have Ash vs. Evil Dead Ultimate Ash figure over there. And then in the uh, center here, we have the two figures we're having a look at, which is Ash and Evil Ash. I paid about $6 for these, so they didn't come completely with everything. So, I mean, that's a given. But, I mean, the, overall, the figures are here, so that's mainly what we're having a look at. So here's Evil Ash, and the head sculpt on this guy is pretty good. Uh, I don't know what their age is from these on how old they are, but uh, whatever, old, however old they are, they stand up today, so they're not horrible. The uh, sword here, I had to make myself because it didn't come with a sword. And then he also has this arm here, and you can see the peg still in there when it broke off. So here's the head sculpt, and I can't really get any closer than this. But I could, I mean, I can't because of the table, but I can, I'm going to skip this forward and get the closest I can on this head sculpt. So you can see it's not just like a normal looking skin color. It's just, it looks like it did in the film. It's kind of got some blood on the teeth or around the mouth here area and everything. You can see the nice skeleton helmet looking thing here. Reminds me of Kratos from Mortal Kombat. It's kind of like a old helmet too, the medieval times. Which is when this movie takes place. Can kind of, I guess, see hair or something there. Also, see the longer hair too here. This is kind of a softer material. Also, see it has shoulder pads that are painted with some dry brushing of lighter browns to get a deeper color in there. You can also see there's different uh, colors over here, like a bone color ish right there. Don't know what that is. It might be like some kind of an animal. There's also this real chain here, like the Technoir figure. And then these, these little things there. You can see a lot of this figure has some blood on the neck. And a lot of this has some cuts on here. Like randomly placed right there. Mostly noticeable on the pants. Like there's a cut there. And some cuts over here. For, snow, for no good technically reason. Don't know if he was this cut up in the movie. But it, it really makes it look pretty cool. So I think I like that. And I don't think uh, they've ever done a figure like this by NECA. And they don't really do any Army of Darkness stuff anymore. I don't think so. But I think this figure is pretty cool. Now, the articulation on this is really, really limited. That's fine. And then he also has this uh, cape here, which has also got some nice shading to it in certain areas, like right here and kind of over here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's this figure, and there's nothing else really to say. He looks really cool, but I guess I can go over articulation really fast and quickly if I can. Uh, if it'll work. So the articulation on this guy is really limited. Head will go around in a circle. Kind of limited by the helmet there. And then the arms here do kind of swivel. Not really. And then right here, his arm's kind of straight. So there's not even a reason to do that. And then the legs here do this. And then the feet swivel. And that's about it besides this hand. Which doesn't really do too much just changes the direction of the blade now for a look at the most pretty cool figure now there is some custom stuff about this one like that one had the custom sword this one has a custom chainsaw like the other mcfarlane ash and it's, i guess these things are kind of hard to keep or something they get lost but i made this really cheap and really fast as fast as i could so i mean it doesn't look good but it works um especially the length of the blade and it's red it works. It's fine. It's just a whole bunch of uh, popsicle sticks. And same thing with the gun. Like, it looks okay from right at this angle. It's kind of bowed like that. But it's really just another popsicle stick cut. And it's not even brown, but it just it fits to where it kind of looks like that. Ash also is pretty cut up. 
And I think that's pretty cool. It's a different head sculpt than the 18 inch one. And the reason I know that is because the hair is not like this on that one. And it just does not look at all like the other one. The other one has more of a closed mouth. This one has teeth separated. You can kind of see the eyes are misaligned. Hair is pretty nice though. It's not like sculpted to his forehead. It's like a separately sculpted piece. So I do like that. It's kind of I maybe kind of glued down in certain areas. Kind of see that. Also see the hair back here is combed. See all the cuts on his face. Does it look like Bruce Campbell? I don't think so. But it's fine. I don't even think like that doesn't even matter. Also see, I don't know if this is either gritty, dirty stuff, or if that's paint. I'm going to say that's gritty stuff. So over time, I mean, I got this guy out of a bucket. Uh, so I'm figuring that's probably how that happened. Boots are pretty cool. They got metallic on there. Some stuff NECA doesn't even paint the metallic on there. Pants are also got a nice black wash to them. And then you can see the shirt coming out of the pants because they're tucked into the pants, as you can see. And it's coming out. The belt's painted nice. This thing, too, as well. The place to hold the uh, gun. And then the thing right there, which would hold on to the chainsaw. Or it's one of these. Might be right there or something. Painted on very nice. You can see his nipple. You can see his arm here. It's kind of like hair sculpted and then a watch. And then his hands got some nice detail there. Kind of a weird... You can also see the back here of the figure. It's a nice actual rope. Buttons and everything. So I think it's pretty cool. And I'm really going to do a comparison between this one and the ultimate a or ash we're getting from NECA. The 2-pack. And I'm really excited for that one. So uh, with the from Eel Dead 2. Which is going to be the exact same type of figure. Uh, this one I think came with a Necronomicon and an actual shotgun. And I think an alternate hand over here. But I didn't find that in the box. Uh, so it's fine. I could make the Necronomicon uh, if I wanted to. The Book of the Dead. So I might do that today or something. I was going to do a special where I made the book as a prop, but I haven't done that yet. But that might be a future video. The amount of articulation on Ashley here. Uh, the head will swivel around, uh, but it does kind of look a little weird at some angles. Going to make sure this is focused, and then the arm here will rotate all the way around. And then this, I guess, would swivel. But mine doesn't because it's hot glued. And it kind of aligns like that. And the arm here will rotate. And it'll come all the way around. Like that. And then right here it swivels. But you kind of want that shirt to align right there. So you don't really want that to do too weird. You kind of want it where it looks like that. And then the feet, again, like the other one, they swivel all the way around to help him stand. At the camera angle, you can see the different ashes here. You can see the different way their, their detail is from this one to this one. You can see how this one compares very differently. And it also has similarities. Like, they all have brown pants. You can see those kind of brown pants are similar. And then the blue, pretty similar on those. And the hair is different on these. But this is a different movie. So I'm guessing that would make sense for why the hair is different. Because it does look like this in Army of Darkness. Thank you guys for watching After School Reviews. Today we were having a look at the Army of Darkness 2-pack with Ash and Evil Ash. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button. And hit that bell icon for when I go live. If I go live and when I do weekend uploads. Also, Facebook or YouTube, type in The Sanctuary. Go join in there. It's real fun. It says Sunspot Reviews. He's, he's, he's not good. Sunspot's a great man. He's cool. So is Smith. David Smith. He's pretty cool too. And then I don't really know anybody else besides Mattitude22. And he always says that with such enthusiasm. So go over there and see him. And then Dan Reborn. I don't know if that's what his YouTube channel is. And all there's a whole bunch of other dudes on there. But anyways. Thank you guys for watching. And go ahead and click on another video. And thanks for watching. Goodbye. I don't really know what to say. Uh, but yeah. So if you watch this video. Say down in the comments. Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3. And I'll know you watched to the end of the video. So I'll see you next video. Peace. Click on another video too. <laughs>